Welcome in to Ravens Rundown, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Appreciate you joining us. On today's show, we will go over the latest Baltimore Ravens news and rumors. But before we do, today's date is a nice one. It is June 9th, 2022. And with that said, I figured that we start today's show by typing nice in the comments because I want you to have a very nice day. I'm just feeling that way. I'm in a good mood today. So let's start out by typing nice in the comments and get started with today's show. Jalen Ferguson, sock daddy, as some call him, has looked much slimmer and quicker in OTAs, according to reports at this point in time. Now, Jalen Ferguson, there was high expectations for him coming to this Ravens team when he was uh, drafted out of Louisiana Tech just a couple of years ago. And what we've seen from Jalen Ferguson at this point has nothing, been nothing to write home about. Four and a half sacks in the last three seasons. When he was at Louisiana Tech, he uh, broke the NCAA record for sacks, 45 in total. So you know he's capable. We just haven't seen him quite break out yet. But so far, Mike McDonald, the defensive coordinator for the Ravens, likes what he sees from Jalen Ferguson. Jalen, right now, he's doing a great job. He's competing. The techniques that we're teaching are slightly different than he knows, so that's a little bit of a learning curve for him. But once he gets out there full go and rolling, then I expect him to compete. Look, it's put up or shut up time for Sack Daddy, okay? Entering year three now, this is a make or break year for Jalen Ferguson. He has to play really well this year, and – you know, we know the talent's there. We know the potential is there for Jalen Ferguson. I, it just has to happen now. If it's not going to happen now, I don't know when it's going to happen. But if you made me decide one way or the other, if I had to guess what type of year we see from Jalen Ferguson, I think it's going to be a breakout season. Those are all the right things that we're hearing from McDonald and company and Jalen Ferguson taking care of himself, getting – in shape for this year. I feel good about Jalen Ferguson in 2022. What say you guys? Do we see a breakout season for Jalen Ferguson? Can Sack Daddy get more than five sacks in 2022? Only four and a half in his entire career so far. Will we see more from him this year than he has put together in his entire career at this point? Let me know in the comments section. Type O for over, U for under, if we see over or under five sacks for Jalen Ferguson in 2022. This is our pin comment today. And so while you get an ad break, take advantage of it and get your votes in O for over, U for under on if Jalen Ferguson will have five sacks or more this season. Rashad Bateman was recently named by Bleacher Report as the Ravens' top X factor for 2022. Now, there is high expectations for Rashad Bateman this year. I would argue that there is not a number one receiver in the league with more pressure on him to perform anywhere than Rashad Bateman has on him going into 2022 for the Baltimore Ravens. Now, he was on the Marlon Humphrey podcast, uh, Studio 44, and he talked about his expectations for this year and said, I feel like Baltimore drafted me for a reason. They drafted me to be in this position. For me, all I've been waiting on is the opportunity. I know what I'm capable of. I feel like the Ravens organization knows what I'm capable of. I'm just excited to go out and finally show it to the fans and especially to my teammates. So what do you got, Bateman? What are you going to show for the Ravens this year? Because you know, we spent a lot of time focusing on that the Ravens moved on from Marquise Brown, but they also moved on from Sammy Watkins, too. And so this role for Rashad Bateman, there is a lot of pressure because Mark Andrews in that tight end room, as good as they are, they can't do everything that the receivers can. And so there is going to be a lot asked of Rashad Bateman to not only have a breakout year and become that number one receiver, but what's he going to do to lead this wide receiver room that's so inexperienced as well? I'm very curious what type of year if we see Bateman be an X factor and have that big year for the Ravens. Want to hear from you guys. Whether it's Rashad Bateman or somebody else, name an X factor player for this team in 2022. Who is a name that comes to mind that 
could be an X factor. Maybe it's a guy we're not talking about. Let me know in the comments section. Name an X factor for this team this season. Expectations are high for linebacker Patrick Queen entering year number three. And Queen, very similar to what we talked about earlier in the show with Jalen Ferguson, we've seen him make some changes heading into this season. He cut out fried food out of his diet. Oh, that can't be easy. I can tell you that much. Uh, here is uh, what Queen had to say about year three. He said, it's year three now, so you know what time it is. We do know what time it is. It is time to perform and see what you got at this point for Patrick Queen. Now, he was on the all-rookie team in 2020, and I'm expecting big things out of Patrick Queen this year. I think that he has shown signs that he can be an elite player in this league, but now you got to do it, right? I mean, here it is. It's year three. It's so pivotal for him to show what he's made of this year, and you know, the, the fried food thing, I know that it sounds funny. We, you know, we kind of laugh about it, whatever. But I'm telling you, folks, that's commitment. That's some real commitment to cut out fried food. So with that said, if you had to cut out one food item, what would it be and why? Let me know in the comments section. If there was one thing you had to just let go of and say bye to, if you had to commit yourself like Patrick Queen is to this Ravens team, let me know in the comments section of what that one food item would be. For me, I think I'd have to cut out ice cream. Man, uh, I I just love me some ice cream sometimes. That is uh, my Achilles heel, my weakness, is uh, sometimes touching that ice cream too much. So uh, if I was Patrick Queen, uh, I'd give up. I'd be willing to give up the ice cream, but it wouldn't be easy. I can tell you that right now. Here's what Mike McDonald, the defensive coordinator for the Ravens, had to say about Patrick Queen. I see a lot of growth in PQ, really, throughout the whole building and during practice. Obviously, he's three years in now, but the communication portion, he's a lot more comfortable in the system. He went on to say, I'd say he's just, the game is slower for him, but he's going to have a big-time role in this defense, and I think he knows that it's a big year for him. I'm just happy with his progress right now, honestly. So there you have it from uh, Mike McDonald talking about uh, Patrick Queen in his progress. You look at the numbers from Patrick Queen over these past two seasons. Go back to 2020, 106 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, three sacks, two forced fumbles, and two fumble recoveries. And then last year, his numbers dipped, 97 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, same as the year prior, less in sacks, and less fumbles, and less fumble recoveries. To me, I'm looking at year three, has got to be better than what that rookie year was. He was, you know, we mentioned he was an all-rookie team player in 2020. But it can't be that his numbers this year are just what they were in 2020. He's got to take a step up from what they were back in 2020, I think Patrick Queen does, to prove himself and be an impact player on this Ravens defense. He's got potential, but let's see if he can put it all together for the Ravens here in 2022.